Good day, boys and girls. Miss Ann here from CGI. Today, we are gonna do a lesson that covers science, technology, math, and art. We are gonna be talking about binary code. Now, what is binary code? Binary code is when you take two symbols and only two symbols to convey information or to communicate with. And throughout history, there's been all kinds of information that has been conveyed using binary. So for example, Braille, which is a way to read for visually impaired people, it uses raised and unraised bumps. Or Morse code uses a series of dots and dashes. But what we're going to talk about today when we talk about binary code is a series of ones and zeros that computers use to understand information and to process information. And before we get any further, I want to give a big shout out to Science Friday. Their lesson, Write Your Name in Binary Code, is the inspiration for our lesson today. And if you want to check that out, go to www sciencefriday.com and then look up write your name in binary code so what we're going to do today is we actually got this chart from the science friday website so you can go and you can download it and so what they want to encourage people to do and what we want to encourage people to do is write your name or write a word write an idea in binary code and this type of code that we're using because there's different types but the kind we're using is unicode transformation format and that's often called utf8 so unicode transformation format utf8 so instead of writing my name i decided to write cgi because that's where i work so you can see i put cgi here and then I looked up and I made sure they have capital and lowercase letters. So I made sure to pull three from the capital letters. And I also have it behind me here so you can see. So as you can see in front of me, I have different items. And the reason I got these different items is these are going to represent our ones and zeros. Because like I mentioned with binary code, it could be any two symbols. So we are changing the ones and zeros and making them into any two of these symbols here. And I wanted to show you, it doesn't just have to be these. It could be pennies, it could be buttons, it could be paper clips. I just wanted to get your brain thinking about what it could be. In fact, it could even be the goldfish where the tail up means one thing, and the mouth up means the other thing. And let me just say, when I say goldfish, I mean goldfish crackers. Do not do this with your actual goldfish. Only with goldfish crackers. A pencil. You can have up to mean one symbol and then, and then uh, down to be the other. So what I'm going to do our binary art with right now is I'm going to use the rocks and blocks to make this picture. And so, um, so first I have to decide which one's going to be which. So I think I'm going to have the rocks be my zero and the blocks be my ones. And some people may choose to have something that looks more like a one for the one, but you don't have to because it's any symbol that you want. Okay, so rock, block, rock, rock. Rock, rock, block, block. So I got C. Now G is rock, block, rock, 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 block, block, block. And now I rock well i'm gonna use a different color there make it kind of mix it up block rock rock block rock rock block 
and a couple tricks for you. These are in eight letters. It's it's UTF-8. And so if you're not sure, eight symbols, I'm sorry. So if you're not sure um, if you have the right length, you can always just make sure you have eight. And then of course, double check your work after you are done. And to thank you so much for watching this lesson. I hope that you get to make some binary art at home. I encourage you to find some items around your house. You can write your name. You can write a phrase you like. You can write a secret code. Take a picture of it. You can hold on to this. It's a great conversation piece and a great um, thing that, a great special code that you know about and that helps you learn about computers. So thank you so much and have a great day.